Hi guys, welcome to today's video, which is going to be completely different. I hope you can see me because I'm in natural lighting. I never film in natural lighting, so this is a different ball game for me. I probably look like I'm in the shadows, but we're going to just go with it. Also, Anthony's cooking our lunch in the background, so if you hear chopping and banging, that is him. But today's video is me trying out home workouts. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I detest home workouts. I just feel so claustrophobic, enclosed. I just hate, I just hate it. I can't explain why. And I know loads of you guys are in the exact same situation where you hate it as well. Um, sorry, you just distracted me in the background. Um, and I kind of want to break this mindset that I've got and give them a go and just keep into a routine because I thought by now gyms would reopen. They haven't. I'm really missing working out. I feel like it really helps my mental health and just generally like I feel unfit, like my muscle tone is going, I can really see in my arms, my muscle tone's gone, my legs, I just don't feel, I just don't feel my normal self, like strong and healthy, I just don't feel like that. So I'm taking charge, I'm gonna do these workouts and I've got two sports bras on, I've got my <laughs> Nike normal one that I use when I go and do weight training and then I've put this Gymshark high impact on over the top just to secure the ladies because I'm about to, jump around in my living room and I can't lie and say I'm gonna enjoy this because I don't think I am. I'm trying to be positive minded guys. I'm trying, I'm really trying and Anthony's making us lunch for afterwards so I've got that to look forward to. But I started procrastinating this morning. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram you will know already this drama but I went into the living room, I was like, right, I'll clear a bit of a space to do the workout. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should just like clean my sofas. So I started cleaning the sofas. So for two hours, I've literally deep cleaned the sofas. I've hoovered them, I've scrubbed them. I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why do I hate the idea of doing a home workout, but moving around and cleaning the sofas for two hours is fun? Like, what's wrong with me? I'm gonna go into the living room now. It literally looks like a bomb must hit in there, but it'll be worth it once they're all clean. So, the first one I'm going to do is Courtney Black. You'll see here, I downloaded the app last night and joined it. You get a seven day free trial, um, and after that it's $15.99 a month, I think. Anthony's mum is obsessed. She loves these workouts. She's actually said to Anthony, I do not want to go back to the gym now. I'm going to carry on doing Courtney's workouts every day, and she does, and she looks great. She's so healthy, and... She just enjoys them and it's flexible to her time because she can just put the app on, do a workout and she's exercised for the day. She, she can do like two or three in a day, she is a machine. So she's inspired me to do this first one. She absolutely loves it, like I said. Um, I did find the app quite easy to use. There is nutrition advice on there. There is different workouts. There is gym workouts on there. And then also there is live workouts that she does that you can then save. And I have sorted it through to find a boxing one because I do really like the idea of boxing. I used to do that ages ago. I'm not going to record the whole thing because that would be so boring watching me for an hour run around. So I'll just include some snippets in there and then I will show you what we're going to have for lunch and then tomorrow I'll be back again and we'll do another one. Okay, I'll meet you in the living room.
done. I've done 37 minutes, 253 active calories with a total of 315 calories. And my heart rate is still 141 right now. I'll insert, if I can, the statistics. That was really hard. I am, I am so pink. So, verdict, Courtney Black, first one I did. I have done Courtney Black first before in the past. This was different because it was a boxing one. I did really enjoy it. I think the only problem I find with these kind of classes is it really hurts my boobs, like, my boobs are just so heavy. So obviously putting two sports bras on, I thought would help, but certain exercises, it just, like, jumping up and down, I can feel that they are killing at me right now. Um, but that was a good workout, I just need to stop it in case I've stopped it. Um, yeah, there was, I did enjoy it, I, I feel so much better for exercising. Um, and now I've got a nice lunch to look forward to. Um, would I want to do it every day? Probably not. It's just, there's just something, like as I'm doing it, I can't wait for it to end. Whereas when I'm at the gym and I'm lifting weights, I'm doing deadlifts, I'm doing squats, I'm doing shoulder press, anything, I could be there for like an hour and a half easily and enjoy it. So I don't know, I don't know whether it's just because I find this like uncomfortable, like I said it really hurts my boobs and it's not that I'm out of breath because I can do it, it's just more like it doesn't feel good if that makes sense. Like when I do lifting, the weight's really heavy, it hurts and obviously it's hard but it's almost like an accomplishment feeling that you have where you just think hey, I've just literally lifted my body weight in weight and it, I don't know I just get such a better buzz from that than finishing that workout so obviously it's each to their own tomorrow and maybe I'll try something a bit different again like I say I have done Joe Wicks workouts before and have loved them um, and I lost a lot of weight when I started doing his workouts that's kind of how I got so slim in the first place but um yeah I'll show you what I'm gonna have for lunch now but I'm really happy with myself 300 and something calories burnt and then obviously I was cleaning before that and I burnt a fair few calories cleaning around, so I'm feeling good. I'm happy I've done that. I'm feeling fresh, the sun is shining now and I'm feeling like spring is coming super soon. So I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Anthony just made us this absolutely amazing HelloFresh. This is Halloumi tray bake. So I have to try this one. So guys, I will be back tomorrow with our next workout so i've just had dinner and now i'm craving something sweet obviously so skinny food co have sent me french vanilla zero calorie syrup to try and have in my coffees to give me that little sweet craving so i'll give that a go and i'll let you know how i feel about it good morning today is day two i have woke up this morning i am aching literally my neck my shoulders my arms not so much like my well i suppose it is my tries and my biceps actually are hurting so i definitely used all of these muscles yesterday and then also from the squats i can feel it in my legs so i do think yesterday was an all over body workout however i did clean my sofa and i did go for a walk later on while anthony went and ran up round day steps i was like i'm not doing that after i've done a courtney workout so i just went for a little nice stroll man so I did burn quite a lot of calories yesterday, but it wasn't um, just because of the Courtney workout. There was other things that obviously added to that. But here I've added my watch stats. Just wanna say the watch stats are not 100% to go by because there's no like actual scientific proof that they track calories that exactly. So it is just an estimate. Um, and also I just wanted to say, not everyone does workouts for weight loss or calorie burn so I'm just going to add these in here just in case people are looking to find a workout to lose weight because I at the moment am trying to lose the weight that I've gained over lockdown but I'm doing it in a very slow and steady way I'm not going to do any crash dieting you will not find me eating egg whites and having no carbs for the week that was old me and I'm definitely not going back to that I'm going to show you what we are eating a lot this week as well because we're having the hello fresh um each night and through the day so we're kind of tracking calories that way. I'm not literally like writing every single thing down that I have because I cannot bring myself to be back in that place. However, if you are struggling with eating and you're finding that you aren't losing any weight or you are finding that you're working really hard on workouts but then you're not losing any weight, 
it actually would be beneficial to track calories because then you might find some of the things you're eating and thinking that they are healthy are probably not that healthy or low in calorie or that nutritious so yeah i think if you want to know more about like tracking calories and weight loss this video is not specified in that because like i said i'm not actively trying to push weight loss i'm not actively trying to promote weight loss i am promoting healthy balanced living so i do want to lose the weight that i have gained over lockdown but that is for my health reasons i've been advised by my doctor with the bmi bs um that my bmi has got higher and in the next few years i am wanting to conceive so for me to be able to do that and have the best chance at doing that as someone in my 30s then to be healthy and live a healthy lifestyle is always going to increase those chances so that's kind of why i'm doing this video and as much as it's clear i hate these home workouts with a passion <laughs> Boris updated us yesterday to say gyms aren't going to open for another seven weeks. So, this is probably why you guys might have found this video if you don't already follow me. Because you might be in the same situation where you are just like, right, I need to start moving now because gyms aren't going to open for seven weeks. So, yeah, hopefully this does help because I'm about to try two workouts today. First one I'm going to try is Chloe Ting. So the workout, I basically put her name into YouTube and it came up with loads of workouts, but the most popular one was this one, which is get abs in two weeks abs workout challenge. Now, usually if I saw that, I would literally be like, I'm not doing this workout because that is some serious bull, but there is no chance you can get abs in two weeks, no matter how hard you train. It's just not physically possible if you have got a belly or if your body fat is at a certain percentage like you would have to literally have such a low body fat to have abs to show and I always say abs as I've discussed previously when I was training like crazy and eating the most strict egg whites asparagus no sweetener diets to get in shape for the fitness shoot that I did um it is definitely in the kitchen that abs are made there's a saying that goes with that so this workout is not one i would personally go for but i know she's really really popular and especially with young girls on tiktok later on i'm gonna get anthony involved as well and we're gonna do joe wick's hit workouts and those ones i used to do all the time probably in like 2016 just before i met anthony i was like on a health hype and i broke up with my ex-boyfriend and i was like right i'm gonna get in shape i'm gonna be healthy and i started doing all of the joe wicks hit workouts all the time so the actual video we're gonna do today with joe wicks later on is the one that i used to do religiously like three times a week and again it's got so many views it's his most popular video um and i really like it it's lots of burpees and like it's just definitely increasing your heart rate to burn calories and be healthy and it's good for your heart so i'll put those two together and obviously at the end of this video i'll tell you my synopsis of what i thought of each um person i'll see you in the living room for chloe ting two weeks out <laughs> I did 
did 65 calories in 10 minutes. So, there's no one playing in the background now. Um, it was harder than I expected. I've not trained abs, like I said, for a very long time. So yeah, my back really hurts when I do the ab workouts because my core is not as strong as it once was, so I need to definitely work on that. And then a little tip that I like to do when I do um, ab workouts is put my tongue at the back of my throat, so like to the roof of my mouth, and it strengthens your neck muscles. That's a really good tip. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 10 minutes. It's not going to do that much, so definitely wouldn't just do one of those a day. I think that's probably just like if you want to concentrate on your abs, but like I said, it's not something I ever have done. Um, I'd much rather do resistance and weight training um, and heavy lifts than train abs, but I didn't mind that, I thought it was all right. So yeah, I enjoyed it. And I like the way that on the screen it shows you when the next minute's coming along. I think the actual way the videos are put together is really good to like, keep you going um so yes i will be back i'm gonna go do joe wicks in about half an hour now with anthony so after that i'll beat you there so these are some of the hello freshers that we are having this week it says when it's calorie smart so this one's under 600 calories so we're gonna have this for our lunch today on all of the hello freshers it says here per serving so you can really track how much you are eating and the weights of everything and everything is already cut and ready in the sizing it so it's, it's just really easy to follow these ones look absolutely sensational but i don't think these are that low in calories no nine six nine seven six so when you put that together this one is five or four it's still enough to have those two in a day so being able to have something small for breakfast as well and yeah, I'm still eating like really nice meals. I'm not starving myself or eating the same thing every single day. I have a link in my description, which is um, you get £20 off when you first make an order with that link. And then I also get £20 towards my next bill. So, so I've just prepped our HelloFresh. I'm going to put it in the oven while we start training. This is the chicken with the uh, yogurt, coriander, Rogan Josh marinade, broccoli, and then some butternut squash with some paprika and a few bits of other seasoning, I can't remember what they are that this included. And then I've just used this spray oil on top and I'm excited. I know now that I've got my lunch waiting for me as soon as I finish because I am starving. So 20 minutes time, workout will be done and I will be eating this. Home workout video. I'm going to be going for a little warm up, a 20 minute hit section and a five minute cool down. This is my home, this is my workout. Bosh, let's get it done. <laughs> It says I did 19 minutes 51. Okay, so 225 total calories, and my heart rate was average 155. I think the highest went up to was 176. What was yours? Total calories 265. Average heart rate 147. Highest just over 170. Look at you dripping. Look at your chin. It's literally dripping. I actually enjoyed that. Did you? It's a good workout. I'm, I'm like, well, I used to do that one all the time. And that was definitely the hardest one so far. That was way harder than Courtney. That was way harder than the Chloe one. Will we do it again? Absolutely not. 
<laughs> I think it's a very good like general workout for if you just want to burn some calories. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you so low down? Because I'm so short and you're so tall. Yeah, if you just want to get active and burn some calories, for me, it's not really the kind of workout that I enjoy at all, but I haven't trained since gyms were open, so at least I'm sweating. Yeah. So would you recommend this is a couple's workout? Did you enjoy doing it with me, even though you were like, I'm not doing it, I don't want to do it together. Is there enough room? Absolutely not. There wasn't enough room though, and this is a lounge, which yeah, is work you... around each other. No excuses. Anybody can do that workout with very limited space. Yeah. Obviously, because I don't want to do a home workout, I'm going to make excuses as to why, but yeah. If you just want to get active, it's definitely a workout that anybody could do and do it at their own pace. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have our HelloFresh now, so once I finish making it, I'll show you. And you you love the HelloFresh, don't you? Yeah, with Nutella. <laughs> right, we'll be back. We have got the broccoli the kale, the chicken, and then a butternut squash with a drizzle of yogurt with lime, lemon, lemon and garlic. The lighting is probably terrible, sorry guys. Just wanted to say today's Wednesday and I've decided I'm not gonna do a workout today because even holding my camera with this arm right now is killing, like my whole body hurts. I think it's because I did such varied workouts, like the first one was boxing, so it was all arms and back and then I did the abs once so my abs are hurting and then the squats and the burpees and stuff yesterday so my legs are hurting so like literally every part of me hurts I've had a bath nothing is helping I just need to rest and I don't want to obviously get injured so as much as I want to test out loads for you in this period of time I'm going to miss today and then I'm going to try and do two tomorrow so I will be back tomorrow good afternoon I'm, I'm like halfway on my sofa so I'm trying to get, get in the shot because I'm not used to this daylight, <laughs> no tripod filming. Today is Thursday, it is 4.47, so I'm doing a later workout than I have on the previous days, but um, if this so you can actually see me. So I thought it'd be a good idea to try the workouts at different times in the day. So I've obviously done one really early morning, which was Courtney Black, then I did Joe Wicks in the afternoon with Anthony, and then now I'm doing an evening one, so you can kind of gauge like how I'm feeling about them all. Um, I was planning to do Hayley Madigan Fitness, who is, I absolutely love that girl. We've known each other for quite a long time now from when I was working at Pure Gym and her workouts are amazing, how she empowers women, everything. I just love Hayley to pieces. Um, and she's actually running a 28 day free um, exercise plan over on Facebook. So I'll link that down below. The plan was to do that today, but the monthly flow has come on today and I'm definitely not able to jump around. Um, I wish I'd have done it yesterday, but I was so sore from doing three workouts in two days after not exercising at all. Um, so today, oh, maybe it was four, I can't remember. So today I'm going to do something that my friend Lauren has recommended called Blog Lattes. I've never even heard of it, but Lauren loves these workouts which are amazing i think it's a mixture of like yoga and pilates and i think that'd be perfect for today just to move around get my heart rate up but i'm not going to be throwing myself around doing burpees and fully exercising it's going to be quite a, like a stretching and um core exercises i think but like i said I'm feeling a little bit fragile, so I've got my big jumper on, my size large, gym shot leggings, so I'm feeling really comfy. And I think this workout's going to probably be more for like just clearing my mind, exercising, and just enjoying it. But I'm not expecting to burn loads of calories. But you know, exercise is for loads of different reasons, so I think this is a good way to show the variety of exercises that I've done over the last few days. Yesterday, not yesterday, sorry, Wednesday, we were sweating so much for that. Joe Wick's workout, it was really hard. Um, and Anthony even felt it in his legs yesterday, he was also feeling the pain. So definitely recommend that one if you are looking to, you know, get your heart rate up and get fit. Um, but like I said, all of these workouts that I'm doing are for different things. And just by moving more, even doing any of them, you are definitely gonna, you know, see an improved level of fitness because you're not just sat on your sofa watching Netflix, which we have all done for a whole year. So yeah, I hope this one is a bit different to all the other ones and I'm gonna give it a go right now. So I'll see you in a sec.
that workout and that is my fourth workout so I've done boxing hit training with Courtney Black I then did Chloe Ting abs I then did Joe Wicks hardcore hit and then I did Pilates yoga beginners workouts I've done four completely varied workouts so I've got all the results here on what they scored on my Apple Watch. So the first one was the 40 minute workout with Courtney Black and my heart rate average was 149 and I did 325 calories in 40 minutes. I don't know if it tells you how high it got up to on that one, no. Then I did Chloe Ting which was 10 minutes and I ended up burning 82 calories and my heart rate averaged at 125 BPM. Then I did Joe Wicks with Anthony and that was 20 minutes and I did 225 calories and my heart rate got up to 155 average. So that's the highest average heart rate which was Joe Wicks. And I think obviously because that was t just under 20 minutes whereas Courtney was 40 minutes. Courtney I did 325 calories in 40 minutes and Joe Wicks we did 225 calories in 20 minutes so if you are a person that just wants to get in do a workout as quick as possible and burn as much as many calories um, to get your heart rate up and obviously have better cardiovascular health then I think Joe Wicks definitely wins that one because my average heart rate was 155 and I think it says I got up to like over 180 so that's good. Um, and then the yoga one that I just did was 27 minutes. I actually did burn 160 calories and as you can see from the video <laughs> I just inserted, it was literally like I was just chilling out, like lifting my leg a little bit, like oh this is this actually does burn a little bit but there was no like, like when I was doing Corny and when I was doing Joe Wicks I literally could not wait for it to end because I was just like oh my god I hate this, burpees are awful. I do slightly enjoy it when I'm doing it but at the same time it's a bit like running where you're like oh my god this is awful. Um, for me I'd much prefer to just do the 20 minutes workout and it'd be over quicker <laughs> and it'd be harder than do 40 minutes. Um, so yeah, I actually did like the Pilates that I've just done. My average heart rate was 100 BPM, um, so it didn't get my heart rate up at all. But obviously I was moving, so on a day like today when I probably wouldn't want to do exercise because I'm feeling rubbish, I still managed to burn 160 calories and move my body, which, you know, I think that's really good. And I would definitely recommend that for someone who's maybe just not done any exercise at all. and the idea of moving is just awful, then maybe just do like 20 minutes of that to start with and then just keep building up and then try the other ones. However, I will say, personally, I much prefer, as I've said all the way through this, weight training. I'll insert a little video now of me deadlifting at the gym when they were open and I don't know, I feel like I can burn so many more calories and get my heart rate up and be there for about an hour and enjoy doing it than doing the HIIT workouts. But I do also do the Stairmaster where I can be on there for 15 minutes and I hate that. So I do actually think while lockdown is still on and we can't go to the gym, I am gonna start doing Joe Wicks at least twice a week, especially if I can do it with Anthony because it'd be quite fun. Um, and then I actually might do the Pilates as well that I've just done um, and try a few of those maybe twice a week as well. So there'll be four workouts, two will be really high intensity, two will be low intensity and then I'm also gonna go for walks and stuff as well at the same time. Then I promise as soon as gyms are open I'll do like a bit of a what I do at the gym. As I said at the start of this video I'm not a PT, I'm not a nutritionist so this is just what's working for me. Um, I don't promote getting weighed because I know I, I personally can get really obsessed with getting weighed and then once I know how much I weigh, I then keep tracking it constantly and it becomes an obsession of mine as it has in the past. If you don't know about my story with my obsession with weight, I've never had an eating disorder, but I have been very obsessed with fitness and dieting and the extremes. I will link at the end of this video my journey with body positivity and coming to terms with weight gain and how I'd started in the past with um, 
exercise and fitness and things like that so that I'll add that at the end of this video if you want to watch it but um yeah I have I did get weighed at the start of the week and I just got weighed before I filmed this video and I have lost two pounds but I will not be weighing myself again now because I can already feel myself like it's getting in my head that I want to try and lose weight um so I'm refusing to do that and I'm just going to take photos so I honestly think anyone who's on this journey and wants to lose some lockdown weight or just get healthy and fit like I do slow and steady healthy habits like that is my biggest thing I want you to take from this video is it's not a race we don't have to get you know in super shape before lockdown is over this period of time is all about having the time to create healthy habits that's eating well moving more having small portions, asking yourself if you are really hungry or if you are just bored. Like, I am so bad for that where I'm just like, oh my God, I'm I'm just bored. I need something to eat because it'll make me feel better because I'm frustrated in the situation. Whereas I've honestly stopped doing that now. I can tell I have, I'm no longer like thinking, oh, I can't, can't bother to cook. I'm going to get a takeaway or, you know, craving really bad things. I am really, really finding the HelloFresh helpful in terms of, We've got the food in the fridge so it needs eating and it goes off if we don't have it so we're having that every day and being able to track the calories and on days where i have one of the meals like we had the steak um we had the steak wraps that was like a 900 calorie meal but throughout the day we'd had the one that i showed you which was the chicken with the kale so i had 1500 and something calories 1600 calories that day that was fine for my daily allowance um, and i was still you know not overeating on those days and I managed to have two really really nice meals um so I think it's just about balance as like I've always said over and over and over and over, over again on my Instagram I always think that balance is such a key thing when it comes to embracing how you look accepting your appearance and not becoming obsessed and unhappy living a very you know controlled life by exercise food and beauty standards is to have a balance so yeah one day you might think i'm gonna have lasagna and i'm gonna or i'm gonna have chinese um but maybe through that day you might think right well i'm gonna go for an hour's walk before we have that so it's balancing things out or on days where you might not be able to move much so you're feeling a bit rubbish and you're not very active on those days you could just make healthier choices you can still have big meals and healthy meals but instead of it being full of processed foods you can fill your plate with loads of green veg and fresh chicken fresh salmon stuff like that so yeah there's loads of different things you can do to to keep a healthy balance um some instagram pages that you might find helpful if it is diet that you struggle with are uh, the fitness chef he is hilarious graham is so funny i've known graham again a long time since i worked at pure gym quickly show you and insert that in here as well so i'll insert this here as well if you can see it but graham does these amazing um fact busting things where it's like if you want nutella on toast have nutella on toast just don't eat the whole tub of nutella um and like busting things like like i said before about hummus and things like that people think that that eating a tub of hummus is you know healthy weight loss food and it's really high in calories anyway that's my plan for the next few weeks and i'll update you just before gym's open maybe on how I've been finding things. I feel like I'm really in a good space now. Especially now because it's starting to be spring. I feel like I'm just ready to, you know, feel healthy, feel good. And yeah, just concentrate on myself. And I know loads of you guys are feeling exactly the same. And I posted the other day about how important it is to own your weight gain. And just not be scared to think about what people think everybody is in the same situation right now and everybody is thinking oh my god you know we're going to be let loose soon and people are going to see i've put two stone on everybody's probably thinking the exact same so please don't miss out on life and certain opportunities and situations because you are worried about how much you weigh it does not matter i think if anything i really want to push the idea of having a healthy lifestyle keeping balanced and looking after your mental and physical health. Nothing is better than doing a workout and then the endorphins that you feel afterwards. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really different from me and I actually enjoyed filming this. It was, you know, over a few days. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely do more of these if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you guys soon.